All right, so due to my thoughts about where the internet is heading and some brainstorming and stuff, I've been accused of being both a communist and a fascist. So that actually got me really curious. It's like, what, what are the differences here? Okay, a classless society versus a nationalistic top-down system with rigid roles, ruled by an all-powerful dictator. Philosophy. Communism. From each according to his ability, to each according to his needs. Free access to the articles of consumption is made possible by advances in technology that allow for superabundance. This actually sounds really good, because from each according to his ability okay so what that what does that mean that means that like people find their own roles in the society to each according to his needs so people receive what they need and then free access to articles because social made possible by advanced technology that all for super abundance i'm someone who believes this is possible so this seems like winning right here this is like winning <laughs> The state must gain glory, or is this fascism? The state must gain glory through constant conquest and war. What? No. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want there to be constant conquest and war. I'm not for that. The past was glorious, and the state can be renewed. Okay, the past, okay, I think we're living in the greatest period of human history right now, and the, po the possibilities are actually still enormous and we haven't peaked at all and um uh i was gonna say something fuck what was i gonna say um yeah i think we're actually like a pretty primitive species still so saying that the past was glorious i think is incredibly short-sighted all right ideas all people are the same and therefore classes make no sense the government should own all means of production and land, and also everything else. People should work for the government, and the collective output should be redistributed equally. Um, I don't think people should work for the government. I mean, I guess that depends how you define it, but I, I like the idea of people being free to pursue what they're interested in. Um... Regarding owning land, like, ah, uh, like, it actually does kind of get me how, like, um, like, landlords and, and basically, like, real estate and, like, places that own the places to live, um, like, just rent just goes up and up, and I think it's ridiculous, like, I just want a room to live in, so, like, the idea of, like, having a room to live in that I can live in rent-free, like, obviously there's enough rooms out there, there's enough, like, places to live out there for everyone. Or if not, then I'm sure we can build them. Then I'm sure we can use technology to make that efficient. So I'm all about lowering the price. I'm all about lowering the cost of... I'm all about lowering the cost of, like, basic life necessities. And obviously that includes places to live. Um, so, yeah. Uh, classes. Yeah, like... Um, classes. I, I think we should eliminate poverty. We should eliminate poverty. I think that's a good thing to do. But um, also there's some compl there's some complicated stuff here with like some people, you know, some people say like eat the rich, fuck the rich. I'm not against someone just because they're rich, but obviously this world is really unequal and like we should try to eliminate poverty. But um um some i think sometimes people that do have a lot of money are able to utilize that in a way that benefits the world so sometimes people who have a certain amount of power or money are able to i think kind of develop society further and i think that can be a good thing but i guess it should be people who have any kind of power should should be um in some way kept in check so that they're not like so so that's like somewhat helpful for everyone and not that they're not doing something malicious with the power and money that they have all right so fascism union between businesses and the state 
with the state telling the business what to do with the nominally private ownership. Um, union between businesses and the state. Uh, I don't know what to say. With the state telling the business what to do. This this seems to just be like about like um certain levels of freedom um where I feel like I'm I'm like uh see I'm a little bit confused here where it's like I don't know I I feel it's kind of confused I I think neither of these things like fit I don't know centralized government planned economy. Dictatorship of the proletariat. Common ownership of the tools of production. No private property. Equality between genders and all people. International focus. Usually anti-democratic with a one-party system. Versus actual idealism. Centralized government. Social Darwinism. Planned economy. Anti-democratic. Meritocratic, extreme nationalism. I'm not for extreme nationalism. I'm absolutely not for extreme nationalism. I mean, I think that um, the world's getting more connected. I think drawing like national boundaries is like less and less relevant. I'm not. I'm not for the military. I mean, look, maybe you need some kind of military to keep some kind of global um, geopolitical thing in check. But I'm also. I'm not a fan of war, I'm not a fan of violence, I'm not a fan of killing, and, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I think, I think something like a military should only be used to keep the peace, and it's, it's kind of scary to me. No racism, racism is wrong. Traditional and or exaggerated gender roles. Uh... <laughs> One party system. And I guess they're both one party systems. Look, I'm not for I'm not for like I'm not for like keeping people assigned in boxes and like and I'm not I'm not for um Yeah, you know, I'm not for people people assigned in boxes and like stuck and People should be free to live how they want to live. Um, <sighs> Both these say centralized government and one party system. You know, meritocratic sounds kind of idealistic, and it says idealism, and I do kind of consider myself an idealist, but also, like, how do you determine this? This doesn't really exist, you know? Both of these say anti-democratic. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here's a bunch of names. Extreme distrust of capitalism. Extremely nationalistic authoritarian state. So both reject free market. No individualism or individual glory. I, I have to stand against this. <laughs> like, I have to stand against this. Uh, the state controls the press and all other media. I mean, I guess they were talking about with like, um, 
God, I feel like base. I feel like what's happened here is that I said, I pretty much said that like, okay, some of these like anonymous groups of people are like tormenting people for sports, and I think that it'd be nice that that was kind of diminished. I'm referring to Kiwi Farms, and then I kind of brainstormed ways in which these companies that kind of control the internet currently. Uh, how that might evolve and how that could deal with that kind of stuff and um, the moment I said that I'm being accused of being fascist and communist and I feel like I don't know I feel like putting me under one word is like not um, it's not really productive I think that these are very nuanced discussions um, regarding capitalism like there's some it like there's some issues that I've said where it's like there should be goals in which we reduce the basic cost of like life necessities as like as close to zero as possible. So I envision this as like things like automated farming, um and like automated like food transportation and um and I don't know stuff like I'm thinking of like a technology aspect like you know 3d printed houses made of like a really cheap but also excellent material or something and provided for an inc incredibly low cost it's like work on optimizing um for like the lowest price possible while maintaining like a high standard of quality and try to provide that for everyone. And then once people also like provide the internet for everybody and like basically give get, make sure people have a place to live, make sure people have internet access, make sure people have electricity. And again, with electricity, renewable energy, uh, solar, tons of solar, and of course there's other developments going on too. But um, yeah, like capture all that energy from the sun, make sure we can store it and distribute it and make the price go as low as possible. Uh, it's a huge resource we have just floating in the in space, like beaming that fucking energy down to us and we need to capture it. And so the idea then is that people are not uh, wage slaves, if you will. They are free to pursue and interest them. But also I think there does need to be some level of uh, cautiousness taken to make sure that people are not being harmful to others, and that's really what I'm trying to stand for here. Um, I I don't know. I think I'm done talking about this. I think you get. I think you kind of get it. I would consider myself a futurist, but I'm not exactly sure what that turns into, but. I would say that I'm definitely not nationalist, and I think calling myself a fascist is wrong, and I think calling myself a communist is... I mean, I I think this sounds this sounds good right here. This this right here? This, sound, this sounds good. I like this right here, this philosophy. This is good. But I think calling me a communist would be misleading. That would be misleading, I think. Anyway, thanks for listening.